Do you want to do the intros actually then, Marnie? Okay, should I wait just like a couple of minutes for this, like for Becky to come in? And I actually waiting for the other lady from Surrey to join us as well. Okay, okay sure. Uh, Josie, though, in the meantime, uh, any other tips you need to get ready? I've not sent in, I've only got. I'll turn off my. my That's perfect, Nick. So okay. to cut your veggies, I'm not sure if anyone's got like. Um, eggplant or aubergine, yeah, it has to be very thin. So it has to be this size. Okay. And yeah. your peppers. Okay. Do you want to get another knife and another chop? How many bits of veg are we going to do in total here, Josie? So or? mine, because we're all going to be doing fried at the same time. So I've only got like, like a few pieces. Like I've got three mushrooms. I've got like four or five sticks of um, peppers and another four or five of aubergine. And the same, same with crujette, same with asparagus and also like four to six. <laughs> Pieces, but depending if we've got like later on, because I know everyone's going to be like cooking depending on how many people are there you've got in your family. So you can prep as much as you want. So there you go. I'm guessing you, it's the same um, process to use prawns or to use any other, any meat if you wanted to. So actually, that's a really good question because meat wise, it's normally like prawns. If you've got like a nice tiger prawns. Um, you just like, you can use the same batter as well for frying it. Hello. 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 Um, my quick question was, I didn't have shiitake mushrooms. I've got uh, chestnut mushrooms. Should We're I the cut same? them in half? Yes, that's right. You can do that. Hi. Should I cut them in half? Yes. Okay. So, Thank uh, you. Oh, hi. Can you just uh, run us through the dish, Josie. What exactly are we doing? We're doing a sauce with it, and we're doing the tempura, and we're deep frying that. So for the sauce, um, I'm on the recipe, I said to make, make in advance, but actually the sauce is very easy. If you've got all your, you've got your mirin, or you've got your soy, and also you've got your vegetable stock, all you need to do is put it in the... The, the one that let Sorry. Yeah. Carry on. So, Carry on, Daisy. Yeah. So okay. all you need to do is simmer it in a wee mm -hmm. wee hob, okay. and then that should you don't really need to add in anything in it. So the whole the whole on the recipe, the whole thing. If you just follow that, let it simmer for five minutes, and you should get like a nice wee sauce, slightly sweet, sweeter than what you guys are used to, probably. I'm gonna do it now, Josie. I'm gonna go for it. Go for it, Nick. I'll. <laughs> I'll give you your instructions. So it's. Josie, can I ask you a question, please? Certainly. Yeah. Um, with the uh, frying all these different things in tempura, is there a is there a um a certain amount of time each one differs? You know, if I was doing prawns, would that take a bit longer or? Yeah. So for prawns or um for prawns normally I would do them two minutes each side. So, but the, the tip with bronze is frying, not deep, not in a deep fry then. If the oil's quite deep. Yes, it has to be quite deep. Okay. So, I'm not sure if you can see mine. So mine, my pan is a wee bit deep as well. So, and it's like quite shallow. So there's plenty of oil here. Marnie, are you with us now, Marnie? Yes, I think we are ready to go. Shall we start? So, I think we're halfway okay, is all your pan heating at medium? Yep. Cool. So we are going to start with the egg. And make sure you've got the trick to this, guys, is we need to have a very, very cold water. On the recipe, I put a three-fourth cup. That's if you want your batter to be very thick. 
But actually, if you want it light, perfect. That's good. I've put ice on my one. So you start off with cracking your egg in a bigger bowl, by the way. Oh, I might have to go to my kitchen and grab another egg. It's not mine. Does everyone crack their egg? Yes, I am. Yes. So perfect. And then give it a whisk. Give a big whisk. whisk. And then after that, No, we're then going to put, perfect, that's it. <laughs> we're then going to put our very cold ice water. So if everyone's got a measuring cup, on the recipe I put three fourths, you put like at least three fourths to one, one cup. Okay. And we mix it again. That was my eyes. Okay. Go. If we're yeah. done, put it aside. We're now going to move on to our flour and corn flour or corn starch. Everyone's got them. Mm -hmm. Okay. How much, how much corn starch is it, Josie? So we need two tablespoons. So you've got like 85 grams of flour and then two tablespoons of cornstarch. This in a new bowl. Okay, and then that's it, that's fine, good. So we're putting this into a new bowl, you said, yeah? A new? A new bowl? A bowl, yeah, you need a smaller bowl or something because on the big bowl we are going to put all the all the dry mixture onto the um, egg and water. Then after that, if you guys are done, two table, two teaspoon of baking powder onto your flour, cornstarch. So we've got flour, cornstarch and baking powder. That's two tablespoons of cornstarch and two teaspoons of baking powder. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's I right. added everything in. I mix it. That's good. That's good. Oh, don't mix it too hard. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Sorry, Marty. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I got carried away. So we don't want to activate the gluten. So it has to be nice and light. Okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> that's fine, not yet. <laughs> I'm wrapping the bowl to make everything calm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, and then here we've got quarter a teaspoon of salt and quarter a teaspoon of pepper, either white or black pepper is fine. Put it there. We've got your chopsticks. I'm not sure, chopsticks, chopsticks or fork. Mix it. All. Where's everyone at just now? Let's have a look at multi screens. We're, we're, we're just getting the frying pan out of the cupboard. No, I'm joking. Okay, right. Perfect. So once everything's done, so you've got your water and your egg. Okay. Hi. Hi. And you've got your flour mixture. Add it in. Guys, yeah. In this stage, this is where we either use chopsticks or fork to mix the butter in. Right. Okay. And then you just roughly mix it. Don't worry about lumps or bumps. Okay. So we're putting the whole mixture in there, are we, Josie? Sorry? We're putting the whole mixture in, combining the whole yeah. of the two things. That's it. 
Mark, got a few ice, ice cream. You don't want to over mix it because you don't want to activate the, the gluten. You want your batter light, okay? Where is everyone at just now? Yeah, so it doesn't matter if it's going to be lumpy. Uh -huh. Yes, it has, it, it has to be lump, lumpy. Okay. Right. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think mine is nice and light. Uh huh. Perfect. Okay. Nice selection of veggies, Marty. Yeah. How's everyone doing? And then good with the batter. Great. Okay, so we need to do a checklist before we start. So we've got our oil ready. Is that medium? yeah? Yes, like 180 degrees. 100. We've got our veggies prep. Oh, my mushroom just fly there into the batter. And then we've got our batter. So to, to test, to see if your batter is actually, you know, looks good, Marnie. Yeah. Right, we're gonna do a test to see if it's, the oil is hot. We just need to click something in your oil. So if it floats, if your batter floats, it goes down and lift up again. That means, can you see? Yeah, so I will drop it in in the hot oil, and if it yeah. comes up, I mean, it's very, yeah, it's really nice and so nice. Yeah, yeah, my word is right now. Perfect. You've got the right heat. Look, I've got the vegetable. Um, I'm not sure what type of vegetable that Becky prepared because Becky uh -huh. is very into seasonal vegetable. Any I vegetable? Prepared. Any vegetable? Do also guys. I've got I've gone for asparagus, but can I just say, I missed the bit. Am I dipping them in the veg in the batter or putting all the vegetable in the batter? So we're not there yet. That's okay. Well, we're not there. That's okay. That's yeah. okay. <laughs> so before we start frying, I want to, so that to make sure your tempura is nice and crispy. If you've got cooling wax, we need to put them apart. So I should still let it like um, drip the oil or something. Hi, Chiro. Are you okay? Hi, Josie. Sorry. How long does it need to cook the sauce? How long does it need to cook? Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. It's just like one minute each side. I mean oh. the sauce. The sauce. Oh, Chiro. Oh, the sauce, five minutes. And yeah. then okay. that's done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the sauce okay. is very... It has to be warm. <laughs> yeah. The sauce is My very sauce. quick. Oh. Uh, I actually prepared the sauce before and it looked like this. But I think at, yes. this moment, at this moment in time, we are ready to put the veg into the bath. Right. Okay. Are we all sorted? Are we all ready? We're going to do this together? Yes. Yeah, we're ready. Perfect. <laughs> so pick whatever veg you like. I'm going to get start with my aubergine. Just basically, if you've got tongs, do it because you don't want to get burned. And then give it a good wee swish, and then that's it. So four veggies at a time. You don't want to overcrowd your pan, okay? Wow, look nice. Okay, mine is going in. Perfect. And it uh, look very nice and crispy. Good. I am not putting a lot as you. Uh, explains. Yeah. So I, four. so I put four aubergine in. <laughs> this batter recipe is really good, Josie. That's good. It's very yeah, good. very light batter. It's very good recipe. Okay. Yeah. Mind you, I actually here. drop a couple of uh, ice cubes in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. That's a trick for the batter is to make sure you've got a nice. I don't think my pan is even hot in this situation. <laughs> yeah. So actually, um, when we finish this, we have to go backward and introduce ourselves a little bit after this. Can we yeah. Do that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because there are so many, uh, you know, foodies today. 
Hope everyone is. How's everyone wow, nice and well? Is everyone all right? Yeah, let me have a look at yours, Noe. Here. But it I just good. cut my crochet quite small. That that is perfect. It doesn't matter really because sometimes small it make it yeah. a little bit quicker and crispier. Yeah, yeah, that's right. How about and I like to eat small. Oh, Chiro, it's a minute. Yeah. Just sign for your bench. Looking good, Chiro. So proud. Oh, that's so Thank sweet. You. That's so nice. <laughs> well done, guys. Uh, I feel like I'm in Japanese restaurant. This is like this is actually a very like very Japanese. -y. So I I have a Japanese friend before, and she was teaching me how to make like tempura prawns and also like tempura veg. So this is what how I got basically the inspiration to get veggie tempura for a change. Hi. <laughs> How about Karen? How is Karen's vegetable look like? How's everyone's veggies looking? Let me see. Yeah, good. So yeah. just fry until like golden brown. Not yet. That's all right. But not golden brown yet. Not yet. yet. How is yours look like, Becky? I'm trying to show you. Can you can you see? Oh, you that, see? yes, that looks good. That asparagus looks good. Perfect. Asparagus Perfect. and cauliflower. Cauliflower. Wow, that's good. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is mine. Aubergine still uh, swimming in the bath nicely. In the bath. <laughs> you see, how long okay, should we give our way. carrots? I'm gonna go in for my giant oyster mushroom because this is so big, so I want this cooked first of all. Okay, so uh, we should cook like uh, a big piece at first. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't know who else that actually in this cooking life today. So um, I think one of Shiro's friends here, isn't he? I don't know how, what is her name. <laughs> There is no Cheetos friend, Alex. <laughs> Pardon? There are any friends to join us? All right, because there are a few, three more new people that I haven't recognized. Cyro's down in London, isn't he? Uh, Pastor Cook Love. You're in Croydon way, are you, Cyro? Yeah, I think one of them, if it's Josie's friend, is Carrie here? Is Carrie here? I'm not sure. She might have dialed the old way, so I've not been in touch with her. So I've just seen, uh, seen one of my friends in Germany, Christina and Simon. Are they there somewhere? Oh, yeah, I think Christina. Yeah. Hi, Hi. 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 Hello. I think we I think we might have put a bit too much water in the um in the, in the batter. Doesn't seem to be um doesn't seem to be sticking on that much. So we might have to do right. the batter. What would you do there, Jen? Batter has actually been easy to make. So you can, for example, if you I think you put quite a lot, then you just okay. Mine is. Uh, Josie, how do we know when they're done? So they're slightly golden. So they look a little bit golden. To like, you don't want it to be too burned, but you just like, I'll grab one of my um, aubergine. It looks like a little bit golden. My first batch done now because I cut very small and thinly. So it's, I just took it out. So thin it's falling through the grapes. This is my aubergine. Oh, that's nice. Does it look okay? Yeah, it look good. Thank you. And this baby. Well done, guys. You know, I must that's admit. That's nice. Oh, that looks good. Nice. nice. How about Karen? Hello. I don't know if I can show. Hang on, let me. I don't want to drop my laptop into the kitchen. Yeah, one at a time. Oh, that looks good. 
Thanks a wee bit done. So yeah. Yeah. Just take it out with hand. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna move on to my asparagus now. Yeah, I have to admit though, I was a bit nervous to make tempura because I thought, oh, I might get the batter wrong, I might get uh -huh. the creator of the oil wrong, and oh, oh my, I might end up eating it all before I finish the meal, <laughs> finish the cooking. But <laughs> it did be quite easy than I thought. Yes. It's, uh, it's very quick, guys. So I thought I have, for, that took a long I have a question. one for everyone to try. I have a question. I have a question. Yes. Um, what happens if, like this, I've got lots of bits of batter um, yes. that have just dripped in. What's the best way of getting those out before they blow in? If you got a slotted spoon, I actually heard, if you got a slotted spoon, just like scoop it out. You can okay. actually save it because that's nice and crunchy as well. You can also eat this later on. Brilliant. Yes, Thank well, you. Yeah. It's a bit like scraps at the fish and chip shop. Yes, that's yeah. right. That's <laughs> Lovely. Uh, Thank you. Um, so, Josie, I think my yes. uh, butter's a bit thin as well. Is there anything I can do to thicken it up now? Uh, maybe I can show you. Let me see. Is that your, that's your, is that um, broccoli? Yeah, I've got some broccoli, yeah. It's not really it's, sticking to it very well. Is your butter too thick or too thin? Too thin. Maybe too add thin. more. Add a little bit more of water. Too thin. Too thick, more flour. You to add more water, but you don't want, as I mentioned earlier on, you don't want to over like mix your butter because it activates the gluten and makes your butter like thicker. Okay. Ah, that's interesting. <laughs> For me, I think it's too thin. So you say to add more water, even though it's too Cold thin. Cold water, yeah. And then just give it a whisk, give it a, give it a mix, and then put your now, egg. Are yeah. you saying it's too thin? It's too, too thin, thin chickpea flour, isn't it? More it's plain flour. Thin. Yeah, add, add corn flour if it's too thin. Yeah, yeah. No, it's I'm not. not. If it's, if it's, it's not too thin. It's too thin. If it's thin, thin yeah. Add flour. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Add flour. How's Victoria? How are you guys doing? That's looking good. Good. Yeah, really good. This my. TV's here. This is what we got already. Wow. Hello, oh, Jackie. Good. Oh, thank you. Josie, can I um, I just say if um, if you're doing something and the batter's not sticking, um, because I'm doing garlic, uh, well, garlic flowers too, and I'm dusting those in. Um, corn flour before dipping in the batter. Can you do that with your? My peppers aren't holding the batter very well. Can I do that? Let me see. And you need to add more flour. More yeah. corn flour. My batter is quite a nice consistency. I'm doing the same with some. Um, if you can see, I'm doing the same with some um, little kind of flowers. Are yours looking like that? Yeah, 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 it's always like that when it dip it in. It's a wee bit runny. So the other thing as well, so if it's a batter, that would say, if your batter is too thin, coat, coat, your, coat your vegetables with flour. Coat your vegetables with flour and then that should be good. Oh, and then you dip okay. it into your batter. That's another tip. Okay. Cool. Oh, okay. That is a good tip. So basically, if the butter is too thin, you can coat the Add um, water. The but if the butter is too thin, coat it with flour and then dip it in your butter and then that's good to fry. Right, okay. But however, we, we wouldn't expect anything too thick like when we, we fry fish, don't we? So we yeah, know, yeah. Uh, has yeah. to be like, Light, yeah. yeah. Just light coat. How's everyone's good looking? The yeah. Sorry, to, um, but this batter we've made now, if I wanted to um, do some fish, say, this evening, would you suggest a new batter not using this one? 
No, I always say always make your butter fresh. So you can't do it again because the, the flour, like the gluten is activated, so it won't be as like nice. I tried one already, very nice, oh, sis. Good. But, very right. nice and light. These are awesome. Yeah. Oh, delicious. Oh, delicious. Oh. That's nice. They're really good. Oh, we've, had, um, guys. we've had the butternut squash and the sweet potato and the courgette and they're all really, really nice. Fantastic. Yeah, it is really, look, the colour is so beautiful. How are you getting on, Nick? I'm, uh, I'm trying to make the sauce at the same time as well. Uh huh. So, kind of now, together. Now, I'm trying to the sweet potato now. Japanese style, you actually serve your sauce warm. So, you can serve it warm, yeah? Yeah, it's actually served warm, so... Yeah, so if, um, yeah, actually the uh, tempura sauce is much lighter. Yeah, tempura sauce is much lighter than the it's normal sauce. Sauce. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that that is real Japanese sauce, really. So I did prepare it before, and it looks really like what I tried in Japanese restaurant. I mean, the sauce. I mean, the part of the sauce. It's really good. Do you want me to show my sauce again? Yeah. Right. Everyone okay. done with their frying or do you still have a wee bit more? Okay. I didn't realize I've actually chopped quite a lot of vegetables, so. <laughs> this is so nice and crispy. I'm going to enjoy it. I think it is such a good way for, um, you know, for kiddies to, um, Eating vegetables as well. Not very good for the waistline. Uh-huh. <laughs> rice wine. No, waistline. Oh, waistline. <laughs> <All the ice. laughs> I know everything. I think all the, all the benefits of the vegetables have evaporated in the oil, but they're delicious. <laughs> Absolutely it's gorgeous. It still counts as one of your five a day, I think, Karen. Oh, does it? Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, so when you have it, make sure um, do not dip it in mayonnaise, basically. <laughs> that would be up for fat. Delicious. Yep, I do my last bit of vegetable now. Um, uh -huh. Of crochet and um, and uh, the leftover pepper. So it's looking good. I'm just about to prep mine. So, so to then put your vegetables, if you've got like a um, wax or a baking paper or something, just put it or like just a normal kitchen towel and then you can then present your veggies. Yeah, I put it on a kitchen towel. Uh-huh. I'm not sure, would that be any good? Yeah, yeah that, should, that, that, that will do as well. Yeah, just try to soak the oil out a little bit. Uh-huh. We've gone completely rogue here. <laughs> He's finding everything he can to dip in the batter and fry. So we're currently frying deep fried ham. <laughs> for a crunchy bar. Is he going, he's not going chocolate bar, is he? He is. A chocolate crunchy bar is going in the batter and in the pan. <laughs> <laughs> We've lost the plot here. This, you see, with this batter, it's actually quite good. You can probably fry, like, use the, the same batter with anything. How are you getting on? We are. <laughs> looks good. Yeah, my, my sweet potato done. Perfect. Yeah. And mine is, I think I got um, the job done. This is mine. Oh, hang on. Let me turn my camera here. Hello. 
This is mine. Oh, oh you're done. Pretty. Beautiful. It's so nice. <laughs> to go with them. Hi Janine, you all right, it's good. Hi Simon, you all right? I'm not bad yourself. Yeah, we're good, thank you, we're good. Good, good. Just trying to make sure none of the kids like set themselves on fire with the frying pan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, can I get rid of this lot onto the... Uh... This is Victoria's, is it? Yeah, it's already because... like nice. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's all for a minute, yeah. Okay, so let's, do you want to taste the dog? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ah, I still fry the last one, mushroom. Nearly done now. Okay. No, actually, it, uh, she, you own a cooking class in uh, Ashport under down south. Yeah. Yeah. I'm finished now. Let me turn off the heat. Okay. Yeah, here my one. That's the wow. one. Oh. And the star is here. I like That's that. Okay, star. Guys. Yeah. Yeah, no, would you like to introduce yourself quickly? Hi everyone, um, my name is Nui. Uh, I'm running Thai cooking classes and catering around uh, Southwest London and Surrey. Uh, thanks you, thank you Mani to inviting me for to join this one, I'm very enjoy. You're welcome, thank you for joining us. Shall we go to the next person? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello, I'm ready. So my name is Becky. And I have a social enterprise called Season Well. I'm based in Leeds in Yorkshire. And Season Well is all about inspiring and enabling people to be cooking with local seasonal produce. So it's good for us and good for the environment. And this is my first time ever making tempura. I'm really, really pleased. And I used some seasonal veggies. I used asparagus, cauliflower, mushrooms, and the flowers from kale plants. Um, yeah. So. I'm looking forward to cooking in. <laughs> and thank you to Marnie for inviting me. Oh, Marnie, thank you very much. I really want to know how it kale plant look like. Next one. I'll let hello. you go. Oh, yes. Hello. My name is Chrissy, and I'm in Cheshire. And Nick told me about this. It's been exciting because I've not done this before. But um, what is really good are my uh, gar wild garlic flowers. So this is great. I don't know if you can see mine yeah it's good I was ready steady cook because I didn't have much veg so it's just pepper carrots mushrooms and wild garlic flowers oh that, you know what I never fried uh, <laughs> wild garlic flour before I used to fry um, uh, crochet flour so it would be nice it's really <laughs> nice tasty oh you my normal um, comfort zone <laughs> and I, I, ne I nearly didn't join because I thought oh I don't like the sound of that you know ooh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but then I thought you know we've all got to spread our wings haven't we these days and try to stretch ourselves in different directions so I joined in and it's amazing I love it do you want to see ooh. Yeah. Just, well let me just that's that sauce look nice and that batter looks good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. So, so anyway, Nick, 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 how have I gone? Have you finished with me? Oh God, you finished with me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Karen. I didn't tell you anything about myself. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say thank you to Nick for inviting me to join in this uh, today. And to Manny, obviously, because it's been really easy. I really liked it. And I, I'm, a, I'm in Wakefield, so the lady that said Leeds. I'm so sorry. And um, I, I, I work with Nick and Janine at the food festival sometimes, and I was on Bake Off. So yes. Yes, Karen, you I you know. read on you, Karen. I read your uh, you know, bio in um, Bread Bistick Food Festival website. Ah. And I hope to see you soon. And I'm in Leeds too, Karen, not far from you. Ah, hello. Ah, Anyway, um, yeah, fine. Hi, Kira. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. My name is Kira. This is my beautiful tempura. I love your beautiful. presentation. It's so good. Can you see that? I love your presentation. Oh, thank you. It's quite nice, but <laughs> I never, I never <laughs> made it before. I never made it before. Let me try it. Go, go, go. It's not a green bean, is it, Cyro? <laughs> oh, I love you. Yay! Yay! William Charles. So proud. And um, is it Chrissy? Is it, um... Hello. I'm Chrissy. 
Yeah. Simon, yeah. Christina in Cologne, hello. Hi. Oh, we're on the oh, Yeah, so uh, nice to see you all here. We live in Cologne in, in, in Germany. And uh, Nick, uh, yeah, thanks very much. He gave us a shout yesterday. So we ran off and got a few, uh, a few vegetables. Uh, yeah, we've never cooked this this before. And the uh, the first time round with the with the batter wasn't too good. It was a bit runny, but we 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 think we've uh, we've done it a bit better this time. So uh, and if you can see that there, what? oh, well done, guys. And we've just whipped up a bit of sauce. So um, so yes, yeah, so we're very uh, we're very happy. So thanks very much for the tips, guys. It was really a uh, really enjoyable, really enjoyable. And thank you for joining us. So where do you live? You live in Netherlands or Germany? In Cologne, in Cologne, in Germany. Oh wow! This is we go international again. We have um, and next one we got Victoria from France. Oh. Fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> we'll spread the word as well. Yeah, that's, thank you so much. Where is Victoria from France? I think uh, we've lost her video, Marnie. She mentioned that she the said, uh, internet connection is gone. I don't oh, know. Okay. Okay. We, we can hear you, but we can't see anything. I don't think we can hear it. Yeah, this is happen when they live in uh, near the Pyrenees, isn't it? I say this like I'm not jealous at all. <laughs> got anyone else? I haven't seen your vegetable yet, Nick. Well, let's do that, shall we? Oh, oh Carly. Oh, Carly. Yeah. Oh. We're up. We're up. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Come on. Wow. We know you didn't have much left because we've been eating it all along the way. <laughs> We've done um, mushrooms, courgettes, sweet potato, butternut squash, uh, ham, uh, a cookie bar, and <laughs> mint Maltese and chocolate buttons. <laughs> All of it has been lovely. <laughs> we didn't dip the chocolate in that sauce. No. <laughs> oh. So obviously you've got a uh, main course and... And dessert, yeah. Yeah, that's what Tim said. Why? Um, he's he's worried about us eating all of this, so he says it's a coronary on a plate. Yeah, exactly. So, and thank you, Tim, that you rushed out and got uh, Carly uh, sixty-eight eggs all together to make this much. <laughs> I can make a lot of them now. I've got sixty eggs. Okay, Nick, I want to show yours. Or is there anyone else that would like to show? Hi, Okay, it, it didn't. Show us yours, Nick. Show us yours, Nick. The bathroom was like a little bit uh, watery, I think. So, oh. Oh, well, 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 well. They're very light. <laughs> it tastes good. That's all that matters, really. Yeah, mind you, sometimes light, uh, crispy, butter is the best, really. Anyway, um, I think we kind of done. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, for a great British food festival, Foodies Cook Along. We are here every Saturday at 1 p.m. on YouTube Live. And hopefully next week we can go on uh, FB Facebook Live as well. And thank you so much, Josie, for joining us. We really have to uh, think about what are we going to cook next week now. Well, if you want to go into the veg one, you can still make like a vegetable fritter as well. There you go. If you still have batter left. Yeah. Slice of carrots thinly, wrap your batter and then bang it in. That will do as well. Yeah, and I do love crochet, uh, 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 you know, fritter as well. It just, uh, actually when Shiro show his um, crochet, uh, uh, you know, tempura, it reminds me of when I go to Italian restaurant as well. Just <laughs> <laughs> jump in and out, kiss and Danny, you just enjoy yourself, can't you? Very nice. You're enjoying it. Very good, yeah. Really nice, uh, thank you. Okay, thank you guys for trying my recipe. I really wish that you'd like it, but if you've got any questions and all that, um, do let me know. I'll try my best to help you as well, give you some wee tips. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye. 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 See you, everyone. Yeah, bye. Bye.